How many pancakes are you having? Nine. Nine pancakes. Seven. Nine. Seven. I'm having nine. Save me two. I'm having nine. Fine. It's my breakfast. You never heard the term you boss? Have you actually never heard the term you boss? Never heard of it. That's a shame that. Our pancake, 30 grams. 14 and a half grams of carbohydrates. Which means, for my calculations, let's round that up to 15. So that'll be 15. No wait, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, right. 120, 135. 135, 135, 135, 135 <laughs> grams of carbohydrates in this meal. Oh. I was going to get a knife. Hundred grams. Oh Jesus! Give it a stir. No stirring it. It's roasting. Oh. <laughs> well, that was good. Do you think it could do a wee bit more? Maybe. Like. I'll stir it then. I'm no stirring it. I can't even stir it. It's been in the microwave. What? Ready for this? I'm ready. How ready? Ready. Really ready. Right, I'm not going to do it then until everybody likes the video. So, so we, we might be here for a while. Only. Oh, wow. <sighs> mm. This is Raven Beats. So, we're going shopping. There's quite a lot of stuff we need to pick up. We have got a list, um, but yeah, that's really all it is. There's, of course, going to be a day in the life video, so we're literally going to take you through absolutely everything that's going to happen today from going shopping to eating to training. I've been working. We've got deadlifts on the cards as well today, um, which, of course, is going to be potentially a big thing, potentially not a big thing. Um, we'll soon find out obviously how deadlifts are feeling we are back to deadlifting on the weekend every single week now which is eventually a, a good thing now um, not that it's put me off it's just been pretty difficult obviously going through different days of deadlift and I have tried to keep it on the weekend but then it's not necessarily fucked up my split throughout the week um, but it's just kind of days have been a little bit different to what they've normally been so again it'll be good to get them back on the weekend religiously and obviously good to get my split back religiously to what I knew it was and what I progressed the best on. So yeah, we're not going to ramble much further. Um, let's go to Asta. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this shopping experience.
There we go. <laughs> yeah, what are these? They're one crackers. What are these? Wrong. What are these? Do they fit in your macros? Wrong crackers. Wrong crackers. Who would eat them? Steaks. Yeah, steaks. I don't know. We get them here or more. Somewhere. I don't know. We'll just get them here. Can we please just bear in mind that we're um, walking around Asta, like not knowing where a single thing is, and I feel as if I've done about 10,000 steps already. Steaks in, steaks in, steaks right there, steaks in, steaks in. 30% less fat, yep, because you're dieting. Dieting on less because fat, cheese and crackers. Fat's smarter in your diet, therefore you must get cheese. <laughs> but only if you get the 30% lighter cheese. Yep. Great cheese. Love cheese. I love cheese. I eat, so much cheese. I eat all the cheese. Cheese is my favourite. Mmm, cheese. I don't know what are we getting. These are actually these actually are really nice, but I don't really think I like it. This is like the this is like the biggest life hack ever, right? So when you think about it, bagel thins are mega for dieting, right? They are mega for dieting because you can eat two for the price of like one bagel, right? But see when you're in your off season, see when you're in your off season, you're talking like 275 grams of carbs here for a pound. Now, I would eat the Warburton Sins bagels and they're like 150 when you can get 275 grams of carbs for a pound or you would pay 150 for like 125 grams of carbs. You gotta take into consideration the carbohydrate intake here. This is majorly important. So, youngsters out there, be buying the big boy bagels. Don't be buying the bagel thins because they cost too much money. <laughs> and we're budgeting. Look, I told you, Warburton's bagel thins, right? Everybody eats these because they are unbelievable, right? But 150, 150, right? 25, 50, 25, 50, 150 grams of carbs for one pound 50, or a pound for 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 grams of carbs for a pound. Mental. The one and only, one and only kilo box of Frosties. Going in, in fact, we'll get two boxes. <laughs> we'll get two boxes. Do me a couple of days, that. We're back on the trolley cam. <laughs> We're back. So, what's next? We need to go back down because we've forgotten stuff. What we forgot? Eggs. Tuna. Tuna. Uh -huh. Tuna. Tuna. Tuna's nice. We oh. need to get fish and rice cakes. Right, we actually do need rice cakes as well. And fish. Because okay. I'm going to have fish, fish and a rice cake. Eight gonna have, times a day. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to have some fish. And then I'm going to have fish, day? fish and a rice cake. workout meal going in here 200 grams of uncooked chicken 200 grams of cooked basmati rice we've also got some form of curry sauce i believe it is on it a little bit of veg and it's going to be mixed in with some monster well i mean it's not going to be mixed in with monster but it's going to be washed down with monster so this is going to be pre-workout meal and then it will be time to deadlift
Right, lost track of time just a wee bit. It is, I believe, wait and I'll just tell you. 2042, it's 20 to nine, and we're just on the gym. So, deadlift's done for another day. The, the plan in our attack today was to go in and see what was there um, without any straps, obviously for a kind of top end single or double anyway. Um, obviously we were able to take the, we were able to take the 300 for the double. Um, but at the same time, I absolutely regret wearing shorts. Um, simply down to the fact that whenever I pulled it, the bar literally kept getting stuck. Um, so we are going to purchase a pair of leggings, um, just so we don't have to go obviously through that process again. Uh, 260 for the back off, the bar kept fucking moving, the weights kept moving. So when I obviously put it down, the bar kept moving. Um, as you would have seen, it pissed me off just a little bit. But aside of that, successful back session taken. It is. 20 to 9, I am ready for some post-workout food. Post-workout today is going to be steak and I'm unsure what's going to go with steak. So, <laughs> obviously I'm going to keep you guys updated but gym is done for another day, deadlifts are done for another week. The next time I deadlift will be in the Body Academy in Perth which will be next week. Um, so obviously that'll be, what, six days from today. The following day for that is actually the BMBF Scottish um, which of course, anybody that knows, the Perth Concert Hall is probably one of the biggest and best venues there is for a bodybuilding show. So of course the Scottish BMBF was founded in Scotland, that's where we are going to be next week. So I will try and bring that to you guys as much as possible. Um, but yeah, deadlift's done for another week. I will just catch up with you guys when I get some post-workout food. Just like that, we have got post-post-workout meal going in. So we've got 220 grams of steak. We've got 250 grams basmati rice. Now obviously I did have my rapid recovery post-workout shake which obviously contained 50 grams fast-acting carbs and 25 grams fast-acting proteins but this is going to be post-post-workout meal and then potentially one more meal and that'll be me done for the day. Right guys, so as you would have been able to see we obviously did lose track of time just a little bit obviously training pretty late. We didn't end up deadlifting and getting out till about kind of 20 to 9 I believe it was anyway but what I wanted to do was really just take you through a day in the life of obviously what I do most days anyway. Um, it does consist of really just getting up, getting food in, getting hydrated, getting on with work. Obviously a lot of people don't really know much about what I do anyway. I am an online coach. Um, my main coaching page obviously on Instagram is made by Kiffy underscore. So what I'll do is I will drop a link in the description box below. You can literally just show over there, see most of my work. Um, I am actually taking on clients at the minute. So if anybody obviously does want to level up their training, was wants to level up, their physique, maybe just needs to kick up the arse. I do offer coaching from lifestyle all the way to contest prep. <clears throat> so, like I said, we kick off the morning with work, basically, all the way up until kind of the start of the afternoon anyway. Um, that's kind of when you kind of make that switch into, obviously, getting the work done, getting more food in, and then obviously the kind of focus does move more so towards myself and obviously my training side of things. So yeah, we obviously shot for some shopping, got some shopping in, um, that roughly will cover your kind of four to five day mark, I believe, anyway, from what we picked up. Um, so yeah, that was really a kind of baseline day in the life. I took you through, obviously, a few meals, pre-workout meal, post-workout meal. We got most of the stuff in. I didn't really want to kind of bombard it with, obviously, a lot of training. That's why I kind of just included a little edit. Um, obviously, the exact same goes for your kind of um, food and obviously not keeping it as like a full day of eating as well, like kind of bombarding you with everything to do with food. You can make another video on that. You can do a full day in the um, a full day of eating video. They are obviously easy enough to do, but yeah, I believe that is it. Anyway, we had a good deadlift session. In the end, um, like I said, it was quite a hard one. Obviously, down to um, wanting to see what was there without straps, and then obviously the two sixty, the plates kept moving, and it was just like <clears throat> I kind of got to the point where. I kept wanting to get after the set as much as possible, obviously. I was, the most I've ever done with 260 dead stop, I believe is six reps. Now, obviously I know that I've done your kind of 300 for four or five dead stop reps, which would clarify that more than five or six reps with 260, 40 kilo less would be there. Um, but it's been a long time since I've kind of shot for your high rep sets, especially on a dead stop and obviously on a different bar, a different platform. Um, it's been a while anyway, so obviously we did shoot for that kind of top end mark. Once I got to four or five reps, um, I was going through the kind of motions of, right, there's probably eight to ten here. Um, so a goal for a while has been to take off 260 for 10 on a dead stop. Um, I obviously haven't. Um, tried it, I haven't attempted it, I haven't went after it, but then kind of during that set I thought, oh, well, fuck, we might as well just go for it. But now that is the kind of set in stone goal that has been put down now that that is the next kind of big thing that I want to tick off, which is 260 for 10 on a dead stop. 
So we'll probably, unsure if we'll go for it this week coming. Um, like I said, we are going to be training and travelling to the Body Academy in Perth as the BMBF Scottish is this weekend. Obviously, by the time this video goes up, it will be, I think, everybody that's competing in it will be about three or four days out. So yeah, that's this weekend. We will be deadlift on a Texas deadlift bar from the Body Academy. Whether I film that or not, obviously, I'll try and bring bits to you guys. Um, just to kind of keep you guys updated, obviously, on the weekend and... More or less, more stuff will be on my Instagram, obviously, because of the show being on Sunday. We'll be training Saturday, deadlift on Saturday, so I'll try and get as much content as possible. But I believe that is it. I think I've covered everything. That was more or less a pretty basic day in the life video. But I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content like that, then please don't even hesitate to drop a comment down below. Um, if you've got any ideas or you would like to see anything on this channel um, that may interest you and I may not have included yet, then please do not hesitate to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to drop the video like for me, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next video.